think. Martial Arts Odyssey. Today I am in Johor Bahru. That's in the southern tip of Malaysia. And if you look over there, you can see Singapore. But don't look. You gotta look at me. My show. So today I'm at the Ultimate MMA Academy. And I have with me the greatest Jollyan in the universe. This is Chen Yik, Melvin. Melvin, thank you so much for having me here. Thank you very much. And uh, I've been living here on the floor in the academy for over two months now, training twice a day. And this man has pushed me so far. And my, my total gain has increased by like 10,000%. I just can't believe what he's done to me. And look at my body. Look at this. Look at this. 45 years old. 45 years old. Okay. Melly, you got a really cool program here. Yeah. I know you take good care of your boys here. Yeah. And uh, so tell, just tell us a little bit about what you do. Okay, so basically we are more on like uh, a small community club, more than a, a business gym. So normally I take those young boys, so I teach them uh, how to discipline themselves. Uh, then I teach them MMA. Uh, basically I, I will focus on uh, Submission, rapping, but you need to sing and do time. I'm going to sit in the morning. Yeah, so I can do this. Yeah. I can do this. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, so I can do this. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, so I can do this. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, so I can do this. Open him up. Do this. Okay. Then, then, then I try to get them some, some basic fight first in the gym which we call ultimate fit now. Then if they become much better and experienced, we will try to bring them to bigger stage of uh, fight like FNC, what FC and F3. Yeah. 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 And so some of the local clubs will call Chen Yik and say, hey, can we bring our guys over to you know, friendly spar with your boys? And so it's like more practice for them to get them ready for their fights. So it works out really well. Sort of like when you're a kid and you're the only kid who's got the snow, snow machine, the snow, snow cone maker, so all the kids come to your house to play. Like if you're ugly and unpopular, so your mom buys you the best toys, so all the other kids come to your house. So it's kind of like that. You're yeah. ugly and unpopular. <laughs> but uh, no, you know what though, what I also like about Chen Yik, it's not just the training and the program, but he helps these boys a lot in their lives, man. He told me some stories, some of the boys at quick school, yeah, quick school. kicked out of school. Yeah, kicked out of school and some of them, they even beat up their, their teacher and principal and they beat up from the school. And one of his best students is a kid that tried to rob him. <laughs> he jumped, jumped him with a knife. Chen Yik beat him up. He came back the next day like in a movie and he said, I want to learn from you. You want to take good blood now on the bag, especially you yeah, no. yeah, must take a bigger bag so when you come on it, you feel like a little bit unstable. Uh, so you can mimic like your opponent to keep moving around, okay? Yeah, and now usually this is high, high now, okay? Push it up, okay? Cut more easy. And you can grip the bag here, belt here, okay? There's a belt here. You will take a leg, you spin for the front bag. Get up the leg. Okay, go on, pound, grip. Hands here, okay, move. Come on. Okay. Cool. That's all. What I like about martial art, a lot of people they criticize mixed martial art because they say, well, you don't learn the traditional value like you're learning karate, like you're learning uh, taekwondo or something like this. But I think Chen Yik is trying to put some values into these young guys. Yeah. Try to train. Yeah, mine. Especially, uh, I make them discipline themselves first, okay? No clubbing, no beer, no smoking. We have to sleep uh, right at the time and have to go to school. Especially, have to study and go to school. Now, 
It's so here in Johor Bahru, there's a real social problem because a lot of the parents, they work in Singapore. So a lot of the kids are being raised by grandparents and things like that. And they get a lot of pocket money. And then, yeah. And then they start to spend, uh, spend their money everywhere. They go to the cyber cafe, they're loitering around the street. And some of them, they feel boring. They make problems for the society. They have great many social problems. So you bring them in here, teach them how to fight? Yeah, yeah. You teach them how to fight, you give them, how, you give them the fight so at least they won't fight outside or in the bar. Yeah, I told him I watched some of his boys fighting in this ring. I said, thank God this ring is here because they'd be outside in the street fighting like that. I tell you, thank you so much for everything you did for these boys. Thank you for what you did for me. Yeah, thanks. thanks. And we have uh, two fights coming up now. and. Uh, but I'll post these videos after the fight, so my, my, my opponents won't know what we're doing. But I just want to thank Chen Yik because he took my level from here to like to like a little higher than here. And I really appreciate it. Chen Yik, thank you, brother. So what's going on here? My opponent is on top of me. He's, he's uh, mounted me, or, or he's in my guard. He's in my guard here, and uh, he's on top of me, right? So what I want to do is I got to pull him into me close first. Anytime you want to strike the man that's on top, you got to pull him in close first. Because if you give him distance, he's punching you, not the other, the other way around. So you pull him in, then you hit with one hand, I hit with the other hand. But the whole trick here is that we're going to go for his arm. We're going to go for this arm, and we're going to go for an arm bar. And all i got to do is I just got to spin. I'm going to put, put one hand here now. If you punch a guy like this, he would not be happy. Then he would try to post it out. He's going to go up. Nah, he's going to go up. He's yeah. going gonna to hang himself. And then I just turn. Yeah, I'm on. And if I don't get the arm bar, then I put this leg down, put this hand down, and mount again, or go for triangle again. Oh yeah, and triangle, triangle again. Yeah. Okay. Triangle, triangle, I get his arm here. Yeah, you know, everybody thinks uh, MMA is like uh, a bully beating up a little kid in the schoolyard. Yeah. Like you get him down, you hold him there, and you punch him, and they think, you already know how to do that. Actually, you don't know how to do that. You need to learn how to do that. Believe it or not, you have to practice holding him down and hitting him. And you think if the guy was laying face down, you know what to do, but actually, you don't. You have to, you have to actually learn it. You need somebody like this to teach you. Mixed martial arts is a sport of different uh, specialties, from standing up, boxing, wrestling, uh, jiu-jitsu, uh, judo. judo, all combination of all disciplines. Just, and you just choose what kind of combination you like, and that's it, that's your style. Yeah. yeah, you need to learn, I mean, you need to learn everything in the sense that you have to be able to recognize submissions, be able to get out of them, things like that. You need to be able to defend a takedown, but you need to pick out your strengths and work on those, and then that's your style, right? Yeah. yeah. Like me, I'm not, I'm not jiu-jitsu at all, man, but I still have to practice every day jiu-jitsu because no choice. Yeah. <laughs> Two, a one, two, three, four.